Welcome to Fight for Your Life. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Live or die, you decide. Gamora versus Gamora and Teleport friends. Strider. Yeah. Strider, hear you. Yeah. Target now, okay, tell me a bit about Strider. Ready. He's so. a ninja. He, he can cut anything in half with his blade. And with his, his ninja power. And he can, uh, he can cut people in half with his own arm. With his arm? Yeah. That was in the comics. <laughs> he literally cut a guy in half by karate chopping him. Nice. <laughs> Not reading the right stuff, really. <laughs> and he's fast enough to dodge bullets that are made to kill him. So made to kill him? Made just for him. He's able to dodge them. <laughs> like Luke Cage style, where they have them shoot in drill and then explode from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> so what was his deal? Why were like, like we made bullets? It's because he's so fast that they made anti anti fast anti bullets. ninja bullets and he's still faster than them, <laughs> so. <laughs> so just weren't testing him the right people clearly. We need someone fast enough who could also be a ninja. <laughs> Where's Batman when you need him? You can also summon lots of robotic animals. Robotic animals? Just... Robotic animals, yeah. Like, so birds, jaguars, and the Ouroboros. Open a robot too, or like a Vegas <laughs> show? <laughs> Open your own robot too. Is that what he did? He just went on, on Craigslist, Space Craigslist and got... <laughs> I was using How do Mindstone. I do Ooh, nice! Slash him up. Cut him with your arm. <laughs> Fire a big blast at him and kill him. There we go. So on stole. Gavel? I was seeing double. I was seeing double. So I was just like gavel. What? So there's now two of them. Predictable. I don't think that was very predictable before, I'm just gonna say. Lots of bullets. Are they gonna do like a Marvel vs. Capcom box edition? You know? <laughs> what, just, just have for all X Men and Deadpool? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's doing shadow combinations everywhere. Why didn't she have. Like, this should be an alternate skin for Gamora where she's got the uh, special power of uh, what? The... the mirror? It was a mirror. I Black mirror? Cool. Black Mirror? I don't know, it's like the... the if anyone's gonna know about it, it's you, Kenny. <laughs> God, it's this, it's this stupid mirror that's been hidden forever and it unveils your true potential. Seen as, one, you're the biggest Guardians fan I know, <laughs> yeah. and two, you're the biggest comic fan oh, I know. It's, oh, it's, it's gonna bug me now. I think it's the... Only one team I don't want to say Black Mirror, because that's a TV show. <laughs> it's Thor and Jeddah. Thor and Cheddar. Cheddar, yeah. Cheddar Ch cheese. Cheddar cheese. He just comes around and like, I got money! Moolah! So Jeddah is from Darkstalkers and is... He's supposed to have blood powers, but because of... PG being family, <laughs> family friendly, he uses purple ooze powers. Purple ooze powers. You know, like the guy from Power Rangers. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Ivan Ooze. Yeah. <laughs> he showed up in Darkstalkers. Darkstalkers. He showed up in that uh, production zone as well. Why would... Why would Ivan Ooze show up in it? No, no! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, no, um... No, he showed up in that Project X zone. Ow. Oh. oh, please. Why you ham? Why you ham? Why you ham? X we go. Black Vortex. That's wow. what it was. But it was a mirror. That's where I was getting confused. It was a mirror. Yeah, it's just a giant mirror that they they found on this like alien planet. And his dad was like, I have found this. Oh yeah, his dad's a thing. He's not a planet in the comics. Oh yeah, he's the leader of an army. In there. He's the leader of an entire planet. Yeah, he's he's the ruler of a planet called Spartax, which is a really cool idea. Because he's an absolute tool bag. <laughs> Uh, anywho, um, they're like based on. They created the Egyptians. And so they created the Egyptians? Yeah, in the Marvel Universe. Spartax is like. Ow. 
They, well, they were one of the reasons. It was them and Apocalypse, basically. I was gonna say, what about Apocalypse? <laughs> it was like, there's a whole bunch of crud. Like, Marvel writers are like, hey, do you remember this thing? Just, uh, it was a continuity. It's fine, no one remembers that bit. <laughs> but what about the bit people do remember? We'll just we'll, we'll edit it together. It's fine. It's fine. Oh god, I'll just be bullied. <laughs> Yo, near. You're gonna be hit by Meow Meow. Meow Meow. <laughs> and the, uh... He lost his hammer, it's still pretty fresh. <laughs> It's impressive that they crouch and look up dramatically. You are so close. <laughs> nice! Does Mega Man get all these different powers? Not all of them. He gets most of them. Nice. Armor equip. <laughs> Armor equip. <laughs> Armor Quip, did you know about that? <laughs> Why the chick across the road? <laughs> oh, comes back past this boomerang. It's just hammer, isn't it? Did you, there's an interesting thing about Thor recently. They revealed that the reason it's the hammer can control thunder is because it's got the mother storm inside it, which is the storm from the very beginning of creation. How does it get destroyed then? <laughs> Don't think it's that in the movies. <laughs> well, yeah, since it's shown using electric powers without, without it. it. Yeah. But it. Well, you could do a little bit in the comics without it. But um, the idea is that Odin captured it because he needed to find a place to put this mother storm that was still raging by him. Not gonna it. make it. Not gonna do it. I'm gonna have to continue. <laughs> And so then Odin was like, hey, I've got this hammer. <laughs> sure, Jenna. You yes, should be evil. ashamed, you rejected Power Rangers villain. <laughs> I the news looking pirate looking mother <laughs> Mother Hubbard. Yeah. Oh, Mother Hubbard. Oh, damn. Spider Man with Andrew Garfield. <laughs> mother, mother Hubbard! <laughs> That was a weird series of movies. Like, they didn't need to exist. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, like like I understand the the Tobey Maguire universe because it was the start of like the comic book era. Yeah. But then it's like these second lot Spider-Man movies just don't need to exist. Yeah. History needs to forget them. <laughs> yeah. I liked Andrew Garfield, but he was he's, bless him, he's not Spider. -Man. He's no, he should be. He should be someone else. He should be another superhero. Like, like uh, he could unknown be... sexuality, man. <laughs> yeah. No, he could be someone with a quick. <laughs> the original Captain Marvel. Yeah. There you go. Oh, nice. Slice him up. Slice up a chunk. You know, you just wanted to be like a million fangirls there. Slice you up a chunk of four. <laughs> Double mode. Take your Hemsworth. Fire bullets, bullets, more bullets, more bullets. We need more bullets. I don't know if that insult of calling him like a rejected Power Ranger villain is actually that bad because there's a lot of villains in Power Rangers, and I'm sure a lot of them like just be like, oh, we don't use that today. We'll use it in about a year <laughs> or the next season. We don't ever really get the time stone. Oh. Oh, boom round. No, no, he's got me in the corner. Thor is ridiculously hard to beat. Who does not? It's not ridiculously hard to beat, he just does a lot of damage. Wide open. Soul Stone. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for love? No, he's not. <laughs> slice him up, slice and dice. <laughs> so just. <laughs> so just what? Like, this is gonna probably happen in Infinity War. <laughs> we saw more of us Yeah. People versus everyone, right? Sci-fi. <laughs> slice. <laughs> slice. 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 Have you heard the theory about oh, Thor oh, Ragnarok? Yeah, where they're gonna bring back Red Skull? Well, the should really, since they didn't explain what happened to him. But Hugo Weaving doesn't want to be him anymore, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like the, it's be hard to change who he is. No, because it's just lots of makeup. 
They uh, they were going to go with the idea that when he got tesseracted, it took him to Sakaar, which is the planet with all the wormholes from Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. And for more in that next time. <laughs> we'll see you next time for Ultron Sigma Part 1. <laughs>